Okay, guys, so in this video, we're going to talk about Luckin Coffee again. So I posted a bunch of videos uh, uh, it was about a month ago when uh, Luckin Co Coffee got halted by the NASDAQ due to accounting fraud from their CFO. So basically, they cleared house and they fired their CEO and their CFO, and now the stock is sitting at around $2. So the, the company just started trading again last week and i've been carefully watching the company i've seen a lot of kind of volatility here so i wanted to make a quick video giving you guys what my opinion is on luckin coffee stock so uh, guys basically the company started trading again and then it was all the way down here at a dollar and 30 cents and then it ran back up and saw resistance at around three dollars and now it's sitting around two dollars which was previous support so guys, I'm just going to give it to you straight, but uh, first I want to give you guys kind of an unbiased opinion. There are some different views on here. So one of the reasons, so one article that I read on Seeking Alpha says that now is the right time to go long on Luckin Coffee. They talk about uh, how Luckin sells 40% fewer items to Starbucks, charging three times as less, and they say that Luckin Coffee is a buy. They say that this is uh, one of the cheapest time to get shares. And uh, I just want to show you guys the bottom line. They said they, they had a lot of interesting numbers in here. But for me, I think the biggest problem with Lucking uh, Coffee is management. So, guys, you know when I'm investing my own money in any company, I want outstanding management. And that's one of the problems that I have here. Even though they got rid of the CEO and the CFO, for me, that's just not enough for a company that had financial fraud. And it was definitely more than just two people who knew uh, what was going on. So this is potentially a, an entire toxic situation. But they said the financial fraud has not significantly harmed the fundamentals of Luckin's business. The user base remains rather stable and they rate that the stock is, stock is a buy. So they rated that it was a buy at $1.39. And the stock uh, did move uh, up quite a bit once they wrote that article. So. You could have almost basically doubled your money on a quick trade, but then if you bought the stock up here, uh, now you're basically almost down 50%. So why did this? Uh, why is this crazy activity going on? Well, it turns out that Luckin Coffee might actually get delisted by the Nasdaq. So there's an article post posted on Reuters. It says Luckin Coffee shares crash on delisting risk, and it says that. Uh, the NASDAQ, they received a delisting notice from the NASDAQ and they filed an appeal against that uh, delisting notice. So what is happening with the appeal? Well, the appeal will give them around uh, 30 days to set up a meeting with the NASDAQ and to uh, basically, you know, uh, fight this delisting uh uh, policy. So the reason why the NASDAQ doesn't want to deal with this company anymore is because this has been a long-standing problem with uh, Chinese companies committing all types of accounting fraud to basically dupe American investors and basically uh, fabricate sales and growth and things like that so they can basically uh, dump their shares at the top and then uh, basically watch the, the bag holders lose most of their investment. And that's exactly what happened with Lucky Coffee. The company went from a $12 billion market cap company to around $500 million. So if I can show you guys exactly what took place there. A lot of people bought here at uh, 50 bucks, and the company went all the way down to $2. So guys, here is my take on Lucky Coffee now. Uh, I, re I read that article, and it was a very interesting article, and I can understand why they think that uh, the stock is a buy. They simply say the shares are too cheap. Uh, you know, they basically moved past the accounting scandal, yada, yada, yada. But here's my problem with this, guys. Uh, when you're investing money in stocks, you're not only looking for companies that can grow. You're looking for uh, basically uh, safety of your capital. So you don't want to be investing in things that you can lose everything. And that's the problem with Luckin Coffee. If Luckin Coffee gets delisted from the NASDAQ, uh, you're basically going to be losing the majority of your investment. Uh, this company is, is, a, is an ADR company. It's a, it's, a, it's a Chinese company. There's different regulations, different uh, laws over there. They're not required to report uh, uh, you know, gap earnings and things like that. It's just everything is so different. 
And that's one of the reasons why the NASDAQ is thinking about delisting this company. So for me, why would I risk a substantial amount of money in a, in a company like this? This is a completely a broken company guys you know when numbers are being fabricated and lies there's a lot more issues there that aren't even being addressed properly and the fact that a lot of people are using the business that's great but selling a, a cup of coffee for three times less than starbucks in a cash burn business uh, i'm trying to figure out how this is going to make money long term and what is basically stopping lucky coffee from basically uh let's say the nasdaq delist the stock what's stopping them from basically pulling out and just you know giving up altogether you know the company built up to 4,000 locations in a, in a few years you know easy come easy go so I think that this is a very 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 high risk stock so for me there's only one way to play this if you guys I, I, I don't buy stocks and companies like this and the reason is, is because I only invest my mon money in companies that I trust with good management with good long-term business fundamentals that I know my investment is going to be safe. I don't buy stocks like these because when you buy stock, you're owning a part of the company and I don't need to own a company like this. Why would I own a company like this when you've got other companies out there like Netflix, PayPal, Amazon? You buy Amazon stock, you can get 25-30% return uh, basically you know, with very, very little risk. I mean, Amazon's not going anywhere. so. I, I think it's important not to be super greedy with this, but if you're going to play this stock, I would say long-term call options. So for me, I don't want to own this company. I don't want to own any shares of it. But if you think that the price is going to go, if you think the price is too cheap, then you can buy long-term out-of-the-money call options for very cheap, perhaps with the strike price way into the future i'm talking like six months to a year from now but that's assuming that it doesn't get delisted so if the stock gets delisted you're going to lose your call option investment so guys i think this is just a high risk situation uh, for me this is a stay away from me i've been saying this in every single video i've made on luck and coffee i'm just staying away from this company i don't want any part of it i believe i bought the stock uh sometime earlier last year you know, I bought it at uh, around 14, I sold it at 19, and after that, I was just done with this company. So, uh, I just, I'm just, I just, I'm lucky that I got, I didn't hold my shares and, and experience this huge rundown, but I think it's just really important that if you're going to do this, realize that there could be a risk that you could lose all of your money. So, uh, you really need to be aware of that. And uh, if you guys are going to think about buying a stock like this, there's other cheap uh, you know stocks under ten dollars that you can purchase and you don't have to worry about losing everything You've got stocks like AMC. You got stocks like GE. You have stocks like Ford um, There's many other companies out here that I think if you're trying to play this whole penny stock game and and double triple quadruple your money really fast without tons of downside because the worst thing I want to see is someone put a couple thousand dollars or five ten thousand dollars in the stock and lose everything because the stock is basically down uh, we can see right here that the stock is down 94%. So this is a little bit different situation than those cannabis stocks. Those cannabis stocks, there's no accounting fraud and stuff like that. And these companies are North American companies. Even though those stocks are down big, uh, North American businesses are run a little bit different than businesses in China. So, guys, I hope this provides some insight on what I think about this whole situation. For me, this is a sell. I don't want to own any shares in this company. But if you're willing to do some risk, I would trade options with this because then you're not going to risk as much money. So that's it for now, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos. I'm going to be watching this situation very closely because although I would never buy this stock, I realize that some of you out there like to uh, basically you like these very, very uh, cheap, beaten down companies and you're looking to uh, get 100, 200, 300 percent return. So I'm going to be staying on top of this stuff. So be sure to subscribe for more updates. So that's until next time, guys. Take care.